Hello, hello. Oh. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Miss Zepka. Yeah. Uh, I have an appointment at 145, so 245, sorry. Sorry, I might have to leave a bit early. Okay. Um, hopefully, when we get out of it, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so yeah. um, we'll you should have a pretty good idea of what's happening by the time you have to go. Okay, so I'll probably leave around like 120, 125, somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. You'll, yeah, you'll be okay, good. Okay, I was just going to let you know. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. You're welcome. Geraldine, it's been a while. I have to leave early, too, actually. No! Um, I have to leave at 2, because uh, I'm supposed to be uh, doing something with uh, my brother for his school, so I have to leave at 2. All right, well, you got to tune in and get some work done, Missy. Yeah, I know. I wanted to talk to you about that after class, but since I was leaving, uh, I could just email you. You could talk, yeah, or we could talk Monday, either way. Okay. Are you yeah. coming back in person? No, I'm not. Okay, hold on. I gotta make sure I have that down. Oh, okay, yep. Yep, okay. All, All right. right, yeah, so we could talk uh, email or, you know, I could always get a jump on a meet with you at any time, so just let yeah. me know. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right, so um, we're going to get started today. I'm going to do the warm-up first, and then we got a lot to do in a little bit of time. So <laughs> I'm going to put the pedal to the metal. So let's go ahead and start that warm-up. Make sure you have a document that you are using for this next week. And hi, Haley. Hi, Braden. Good to see you guys. Leah, always a pleasure. Shelly, Miranda. All right, so your warm-up question. I'm on camera, so it's going to take forever to load. Here we go. Okay, I fixed it. All right, so your question today is, pop it up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. All right, so your question today is, let's see, what are two... Time management skills. So that's from your notes. Remember, you can go back and look at the notes if you want, or you can make a good educational guess. Just make sure it's in a complete sentence with a cap and an end. Remember, I don't know does not work. Two minutes. One minute, 10 seconds. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're here. Awesome. Yeah. We were just working on the warm-up staff here in case you wanted to know. I think we have 53 seconds left, so I'll put it back up.
Ten seconds. Try to finish up. Okay, time is up. All right, I'm just going to do, um, there was a couple groups the last time we met that didn't get a chance to present. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain it here, and then you um, will need to do that. So my notes say that groups three and four did not go. Uh, groups one and two went, and three and four still have to go yet. So let me just run through how, yes. What's up? Uh, me and uh, Brady went. Yeah, I knew that. Four. Oh, you guys were four. You said you didn't go. Oh, so sorry about that. So four went. Maybe so it was, was one. One and four one. went and two and three okay. didn't. <laughs> That's in my notes. I was trying to remember without. What I did I do with my notes? Right here, two seconds. I love it. All right. Well, you know, I knew I knew the people that went, but I okay. Anyway, okay. So that means that two and three will need to go. Maybe that's what my notes said. I don't know. Anyway, um, let me just kind of run through it because anybody that was not here, you guys will be doing number five. So let me just quick do a quick explanation here. Okay. So. Uh, you need to open the PowerPoint for, these are people that weren't here. Okay. So if you were here, just kind of listen, but know that you guys know what's going on. Okay. So, um, we looked at this picture and there were 10 questions that we answered about it. And, um, there were two people in each group. So if you did not do this, then you're responsible for number five. Okay. So like just as an example, I know Gerilyn wasn't here last time, so you would be responsible to fill this one out, okay? And you guys are going to use the document that's with the assignment. So like if I go back in Google Classroom, here's your 10 questions. So this is what I want you to fill out right here, okay? And that's according to the picture that we are, that was uh, on the slide. So. Um, I was going to ask, and I already had, um, Haley, you were with Brady, right? Yep. And then Sapphire, I'm trying to remember, were you with uh, Braden? Yeah. Okay. And then I know it was Emily and Miranda, who was my other group? Jenna, you went, yes, you went the last time too. Yes, me and Shelly. Yeah. I don't, Sapphire, I don't remember you going. Are you sure you went? No, I never said I went. I said oh, group, groups. I thought you said you went. Okay. No, only one in four did, but then two and three didn't. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, all right. So, with that being said, Let's have a group. I don't even know. Is Emily here? Miranda, I know you're here. I don't see Emily. And then Breed, Breed, let's see. Breeden's here. And, okay. All right. So let's do number two. Let me go back to the PowerPoint here. So whoever had number two right here. Oops. Number two. That was number one. I'm looking at the slide numbers. There we go. Okay. So, was number two, which one did you say you were, Sapphire? Two I'm or number three? Two. I'm two. Okay. Let's have you guys go ahead and do two then. You want to go through, through it? Yeah. Okay. Color, it's mainly pale. Colors like white with red accents. Um, textures, the tower appears to be made of both cookie and cheesecake materi material, which contrasts. Number three, plating, the tower is directly in the center with small garnishes on the edge for the extra space vessel, a small white square plate that fits everything perfectly. Temperature, 
Nothing contrasts heavily. Everything is cool or no neutral. Focal point, the tower itself is the focus, as well as the strawberry on top. Dramatics, apart from being in the form of a tower and maybe the top of it being fancy, it's not that dramatic. Too tall, it looks relatively stable for a tower, but it's still tall, so it could be in danger of falling. Garnish with care, everything is placed with purpose and nothing seems out of the ordinary. The strawberry drizzle fits perfectly and the name Strawberry Cream Pillar. Oh, yummy. That sounds delicious. All right. And then, uh, Miranda, do you want to do number three? I'll help you out. Um, so, Emily and Miranda worked on this together. So, this treat has three colors. It seems, looks like it would be easy to eat. They spaced everything out. It's on a plate. It looks like the temperature would be warm unless the Cool Whip is cold, and then that would be the only cold thing. The snack is by itself, and it gives off color. Um, it doesn't look dramatic. Doesn't look like it will fall. I, I don't know. It looks like it might fall to me. <laughs> and then raspberry juice, shaved chocolate, and it's a three. They're going to call it the three-layer raspberry tower. All right. So if you weren't here, your assignment is number five slide, and you're just going to do it right on the document in the assignment area, okay? All right, so for all those participants, thank you. You did a great job. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to show you a couple things, and I can't decide, like, if I just want to, like, lay everything out and then have us work on it and continue working on it on Monday. Um, but I'll show you what we're doing. Okay. So just, I'm going to assign this. I'm not going to put a deadline on it right this minute. Cause I kind of want to show you the things I want you to work on and then, um, we'll have you do that. Okay. So this next part of this, am I presenting? Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Okay, so the next part of this is called Four Components of a Plated Dessert. So you go into this, and you go and read this article, and the article talks about the main item, the description, an example, and then I need you to go find it, find one, and put it here, so you're going to copy and paste the picture in. And then you're going to do sauces, description, example, and then find a picture. A crunch component, description, example, and then a picture. And then a garnish example, and then insert a picture with description. So the article, you just click on the link. And it'll take you to this page. And it talks about the main item, the sauce, the crunch, and the garnish. So you need to read through the information and find out all the answers to the main item. Oh, main item's down here, whoopsie. And then you need to go to the sauces and read about that. The crunch element or com uh, component and then the garnish. Okay, and each one needs to have a picture so then you would go and find one and then um, attach it to the document. Is there any questions on that one? This one's kind of straightforward. Does that make sense? Can I get a yes, Ms. Subka? It makes sense? It makes sense to me. It makes sense to me, too. Okay. Yep. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Okay, now I'm going to add one more thing to this, not to like, you know, because I'm telling you that I know this is going to be a lot, and so I'm going to push it into next week. So don't panic on me, okay? All right, this next thing I'm going to give you, I'm going to open it up, hang tight. And this is one that you may actually want to wait to do when we're back together. Um, let me assign it here. Ooh, I'm sitting here freezing to death. Okay, so this one, I think you'll really like doing this one. All right, I'm going to show you the document first. 
Now this one, it was, it's a PDF. So what I had to do was put text boxes in the circle. So if you go up to the little magnifying glass and do like 100%, you can, you know, have the text box here. But if for some reason, let's say this was one of the assignments you didn't get done. And so Monday you're going to work on it. I'll have copies of this. So if you want to like draw it out instead of having to use the computer to do that, that'll be available. Okay. So this is how this assignment works. I thought that I could put a link on here, but I, it won't work. So I linked it right to the assignment. So let me just read the directions. It says use markings, draw and provide simple directions for creating eight decorative designs. And, um, so I'm going to show you that now where you find that. So right here where it says how to garnish a plate, there's a five-minute video that shows all the ways that you can garnish a dish. And then in these little circles is where you're going to draw uh, the type of garnish that, you know, out of the, I don't know, 20 that they show you on this video, you have to do, I think, was was it 10 or 8? I can't remember. But anyway, so you're just going to draw those in. Um, if you have a printer, you could print it out and draw them and bring it on Monday. Or this could be one thing you're like, well, I'm going to set this one aside. So when I get back into school on Monday, Mrs. Evka and I, you know, we'll work on it. Or, you know, if you, you could take a piece of paper and draw the circles on it. And then watch the video and just do that and then just take a screenshot and then upload it. That would be fine too. Um, but this one is going to be really important for you to see to be able to do the demo. So, you know, I'm kind of wanting you to see this because I want to kind of talk a little bit about the demo. But I don't want to um, overload you right now. So I'm going to give you about 15 to 20 minutes to work on either one of these, whichever one you want to work on first, the four components of a dessert plate, or you can work on the um, garnish decorative techniques that are on that circle document. So you can take your pick which one you want to start with, but I'm going to give you about 15 to 20 minutes to work on one of those. And then we're going to talk about the, um, demonstration because you either can do a, a demonstration with the demo page or you can get 20 extra credit points and do this menu project um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get closer. So is there any questions on the two things that I've just shown you um, that you have a choice? You're going to do them both. Don't get me wrong. It's not one or the other. It's which one do you want to work on right now? And then we'll push that other piece into next week. So does that make sense? Can I get a yes or it doesn't make any sense or I have a question? Makes perfect sense. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. So, okay, good. Braden's on board. All right. So you pick the two that I have in there that I just put in. You pick one or the other to do right now. And the other one will push into Monday. And I'm going to give you about 15 to 20 minutes to work on it. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to explain the project that you can earn 20 extra credit points if you want. Or you can take the easy road, which would be just to basically watch the demonstration and do the demo page. Um, what do you mean, Haley? Like both of the two assignments that you oh, just Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm just talking about, uh, you know, that we might be, be able to push, you know, some people may not want to take the rest of their Friday, Thursday, you know, maybe they got something to do or whatever. But yeah, so if, if you have time, sure. Okay, you can ask her that later. We are in class right now. All right, so 20 minutes. I'm going to set my little timer up on the screen here. Let me pull it up. And then um, that'll be like my little timer for you guys. And you um, can keep track of how much time is left. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to see it. 
Okay. And then, um, as soon as this pops in here, good lord, it's looking over. Keeps twirling, 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 twirling. And I'm not on, can oh, there we go. Can you see this, Haley or Sapphire? Yeah. I can see it. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, it's visible. All right. So we'll go ahead and, um, I'm trying to look at the time and how much time. Okay, so that should be good. All right, so let's try the 20 minute time. And you pick one of those to do right now and work on. And then um, in 20 minutes, we'll talk about our demo project. Unless you have questions, remember I'm right here so you can unmic. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go open my other computer screen that I got here and I'm gonna be able to see the chat just in case someone puts something in there. So um, just keep that in mind that if you don't want to talk on the mic, you can always um, use the chat. I'm sitting here shivering, so I can't maneuver buttons very well because <laughs> I'm shaking. You know, my chest is so cold.
Hang on just a second, Sapphire. Let me get that information for you. I had a question too. Yeah, go ahead. It, it's in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Always. So Sapphire, like for example, the main item. So like examples would be like a slice of pie, a mini tart, a cluster of cookies. So they usually in the description are gonna give you some examples. And then when you go try to find a picture, um, that'll just, you know, be a visual type of deal. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. Oh. Yep, sorry for the delay. It's okay. <laughs>
Okay, Brady. Um, there should be a description in the um, article that talks about the food. That's what you need to use as your description. Okay. Okay. All right, Jenna, um, I think it would be best if you watch the recording towards the end. Like, I don't know if it tells the exact, exact time, but I'm going to explain the demo piece of it. So you may want to just watch the tapered end of that before, you know, or you can email me and we can talk about it. Okay, I'll probably just watch the recording. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. I was just switching over to see how much time we have. So you got about less than two minutes. So try to just kind of wrap up where you were. And then we'll talk about this project slash demo.
Okay, so let's talk about this demo and uh, the project. So kind of stop where you are and uh, put me in the forefront so when I explain it to you, it's gonna make sense. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna open it up. Ooh. Okay, so if you're looking at your screen, uh, there's a couple things. So the first part of the assignment is just me making brownies, okay? And then there's your teacher demo page. So this is one of the options. This is like we've always done it before. But because we're doing the unit on plating, um, I kind of wanted something to kind of go with that. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. So here's the assignment, okay, where it says, this is your project, brownie dessert menu project. But before I get into that, does everyone understand that one of the options is just doing the demo, just as we've always done it with the demo page in the video, right? That makes perfect sense. Sapphire, can you respond to me? What? <laughs> Does that I make sense? Can. Yeah, it makes sense. I was just confused. Oh, okay. So I'm just, okay. So here's the second piece. Now, this is where you can get 20 extra credit points. So I'm going to open like the write up of the assignment, like explaining what you have to do. Okay, so it says a new restaurant is opening in town and you have been asked to create a brownie dessert for the dessert menu. You will create a visually appealing brownie dessert for this new restaurant. You are going to apply your knowledge of plating desserts. You will bake the brownies, decide how you want to plate the dessert, and then photograph. Name and write a menu description for this decadent brownie dessert. And that's kind of back where, you know, when we did the assignments where I divided you guys into groups, that's kind of what you're going to be doing, sort of, okay? So if we were in school, we would do this, and we were able to be in the kitchens. So this is you making brownies. Now you, you know, you can make them from scratch, okay? And I will give you that recipe. I don't know if this link works. Oh, it does. Okay, so you can go to that link and find the from scratch, or you can make one out of a box, okay? These are all of the toppings that are just ideas or thoughts that you could add to your dessert to make it look pretty. Okay, so then individually plate the brownie according to your plan. Photograph your brownie from several angles for the menu. Each person will then write their own name for the brownie and description. So the last part is where you're going to use the brownie dessert menu project template, okay? So I'm gonna go to the template right now. So the template is right here. And what you would have to do is put your name here. You would put the photographer or the photo of your dessert. I'll just present this so it's easier to see. Then you would put the description it's going to be in the menu with the photo. How was color incorporated into the dessert with the photo? What textures are used in the dessert with the photo? Describe how the, split, the space was used in a creative or interesting way with the photo. Identify the vessel that was used for the dessert. Add the photo. Are there contrasting temperatures? And if so, how? Add the photo. What is the focal point of the dessert? Add the photo. And then do you think this dessert looks dramatic? Explain why or why not and add the photo. And then would this dessert be in danger of falling over? Explain why or why not. And is there a garnish on this dessert? What is it? 
Now, if some of those don't apply, then you can just put in your response, you know, uh, this question does not apply to my dessert or something like that, okay? But you should try to hit all of those 10 things. So I did a couple desserts and they're not fabulous because I was in a hurry and <laughs> didn't, didn't, I don't love this, but here's just a couple examples of things that I did. Like I did the spider web with some raspberries, powdered sugar as my garnish. And then I also did, I kind of stacked the brownies and then put a smear of strawberry jam with chocolate ganache on there. So there's a couple of my photos that I did. But what I want you guys to do is take several photos and use the menu template to put the photos in and then describe um, all those 10 tips. Okay, so now I will take questions if you have them. Questions. So there's two options. You can just do the standby demo with the video. I also did the recipe that they suggest in the project. So if you wanted to watch the demo just to see how to make them, you could watch that. Um, but here's the other thing. If for some reason, um, I think it would be great if all of you could use your plating skills. Let's say, you know, brownies aren't in the cards. So go get, let's say, a Twinkie, which you could pretty much find anywhere for, what, 50 cents? And I want you to use the Twinkie to uh, embellish it and to make it look like a fancy dessert um, and use all the plating techniques. Now I'll show you one. I was looking on YouTube. Yeah, just a little bit ago. Actually, I don't think it was YouTube. It was just, okay, hold on. <laughs> so I don't want you to use this one if I, if I, um, hold on. If I show this one to you, it's off limits. Okay. So here is, um, somebody did Twinkies. So they basically cut them a certain way and then formulated them into hearts and then put like some kind of a, strawberry raspberry um sauce over them with a mint leaf um and so this is just one way that somebody used it there's tons of different things you could do with a twinkie um to make it look pretty but if you wanted to you know uh skip the step of making and baking i would allow you to do something like that but I don't want to see the same artwork in any of the ones I get. So, questions. Let me hear any questions you have. Does this all make sense? You have two options, one or the other. In this case, it's one or the other for the demo project you know, one or the other. The project, however, if you do it and you do the PowerPoint or Google Slides, however you want to look at it, it's 20 extra credit points, okay? So, uh, Haley, how does that sound? Great. Okay, so it makes that sense to you. Okay. Yeah. Brady, what about you? Everything sound okay? Do you need more explanation? Okay, due date. So this is due. Uh, the de if you're going to do the demo, the demo is due Friday. Okay. If you're going to do the project, then I will give you a longer deadline because it's going to take you a little bit more time you know, to fill all that PowerPoint out, to make it, to decorate it, to take pictures and all that. So I would like that turned in by, uh, let's see, when do we meet again? So Thursday of next week, does that give you enough time? Can I get some feedback on that? Would Thursday of next week be enough time, do you think, to do the project? Feedback. 
Hello. <laughs> I'm asking a question. I need feedback. Does that seem like it would be a realistic timeline? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Caden. <laughs> okay, but for the demo page, if that's the, the that's what you're going to do, and that's fine, the deadline is going to be this Friday. But if you're doing the project, which means you're going for those extra 20 credit, extra credit points, you have until next Thursday. And that means when you come to class, it has to be done. Because I would like to show some of those in Thursday's class. So I want them to be done and ready to go. Okay, so um, so with that being said, because they're in the same spot, you know, like on Google Classroom, they're one of the same assignments. I'm going to put the deadline being next week, Thursday, but that does not mean that the demo, just the teacher demonstration, that one is still due Friday. And I'm going to check for people having that done on Friday. At 11.59, I'll probably wait, you know, but it'll tell me, it gives me a timestamp. So, um, you know, it ha that one has to be done by Friday. But the, pro the project will go into next week, Thursday, which I think, what is the date on that? The, let me look. That is the 28th. So um, 28th by class time, and our class starts 2.30. So it's got to be done by 2.30 on the 28th before you, no, not 2.30, 1.30, 30. 1.30. Okay, so I've just uh, updated that. So can I get someone just to reiterate deadlines for me? What did you hear me say when I gave you a deadline? Which ones do when? The demo is due on Friday. And the project is due Next day when you walk in. Okay, thank you. I just want to make sure that's crystal clear. Okay, so I'm going to let you out early because, you know, for me to sit here for seven minutes and have you work on your demo is kind of silly. But I've given you a lot to do, and I apologize for that. But, you know, I want to get this plating in. And I will give you time next week to work on it Monday. We'll see. You know, we'll just kind of play it by ear. If you guys think you need a little bit more time, then we'll use a little bit of Tuesday. Um, but we're looking at a, a test coming up. So um, I will kind of look at things and kind of assess where we are. But, you know, it could be as early as Thursday. Like we take part of Thursday to do the test and then part of Thursday to look at some of the presentations if people opt for that. Um, but I'm going to give you more of a definitive, definitive answer on Monday. Okay. So that would give you Monday night to study, Tuesday night. Wednesday night and then Thursday would be the test. And we've, like I said, been going over a lot of the information each and every time we meet. So um, questions on anything before I send you out of here? Okay, well, I look forward to seeing all of you that are coming back. I'm excited to see you guys. And for those on virtual, I'll see you Wednesday and Friday. And that means a presentation for you guys is due on Friday. Okay. Well, no, actually, I'm going to keep it the same deadline. Yep. I'm going to keep it the same de deadline. So virtually, you'll have to have yours done Thursday by 1.30 as well. All right. I'm good. You guys can head out. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thanks, Sapphire. I didn't mute you today, see? Yeah, I know. <laughs> have a good Thank rest you. of your day. You too, Haley. I'll see you soon. I'll see you Monday. Yay, I can't wait. See ya. Bye. Have a good day. See you Monday, Miss Subka. Bye, Kaden. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that long hair. No, yeah. Are you going to get it cut before school? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Hi, Miss Gray. Hi. How's it going? That was a lot of work. I know. <laughs> That's why I gave them till end of next week because I was like, well, it's hard. I want them to do the presentation, but they have to know how to do the um, sauces and the 
decorating. And so those two assignments I gave ahead of time, those were, you know, kind of lead ins. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, how can I do this? Oh my God. So, yeah. They should be all right. I hope so. Yeah. So, all, all right. right. Well, I guess I will see you on Monday. Excellent. I look forward to it. All right. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.